In today's day and age, children and students are growing up with technology all around them. They surf the internet confidently, play games, own the mobile phone, and are able to acquire new skills, learning, and grasp concepts much, much faster than they usually would. On today's show, we're focusing on whether we could take such technology that students are engrossed in into the classroom and what sort of benefit would it have for the students. In India, technology integration in the classroom has come an extremely long way and today we're going to see some examples of that. Technology is something that touches all parts of our lives. Our homes, our communities and our work. However, most schools lag far behind when it comes to integrating technology in the classroom. In recent times, educational institutions have understood the benefits of having technology in the classroom. And that does not mean simply having a computer. Integration of technology in the classroom goes beyond teaching basic computer skills and software programs like Microsoft Word and Paint. It means using technology in the curriculum and as part of the syllabus to achieve certain goals. For example, this. This is no ordinary biology class. Here students are learning about the human heart, but not with the typical drawings that we see in our biology textbook, but through a 3D projector that takes them inside the human body and quite literally opens up the heart to them. Earlier, uh, our teacher used to draw only diagrams on the board. Uh, it gave us only a th uh, 2D view and now we have it in 3D and it is animated. So we can see the whole procedure. And it's, uh, uh, earlier we have used to extend our imagination to understand the concepts. But now we can uh, understand it very easily. Classrooms like this at Bal Bharati School in Delhi extend and push through the boundaries of what teaching is. Teachers are trained and skilled and highly equipped to handle new technological devices that have been put in the classrooms, making learning for students significantly more fun, interactive and interesting. They are able to view the human heart inside out and understand the functioning of the organ in ways that perhaps a textbook or a chalk on blackboard would not be able to do. As I am a biology teacher, I would like to know and explore about human body but to give them detailed functions of human body like human heart or bone marrow i need i do draw diagrams but this 3d board is the one which has uh, unlimited uh, horizons because it makes them move inside the human body and look at the 3d concepts of all these subjects learning output has really improved because they are the ones who are very attentive and they are interested in having some visual effect which is other than from the old method of teaching which was with chalk and blackboard. Having such technological devices in the classroom helps students in many ways. It is much more fun to learn and grasp concepts if it is taught in a way that is intriguing, different and captivating. Learning about the architecture of the Indus Valley Civilization can be extremely boring, especially if you learn about it through a monotonous monologue and a textbook. But the moment you have a video thrown in that takes you through the streets of Harappa, you're caught. You can watch how it actually was instead of memorizing facts through a textbook. See, visual impact is always more than only audio and a subject like social studies can become very monotonous and tiring which is only delivered through lecture method. When children see through the smart class, they get to know things which they can only imagine or which can, they cannot visualize. So things come alive in the class with the help of the smart class, I feel. Like when we were talking about Harappa, they could not have visualized what a city in those times would have looked like or what a seal was till I actually showed them here. Technology in the classroom is not limited to simply watching videos and 3D renditions. Subjects like mathematics can be taught through the smart boards, making topics like geometry more fun. Gone are the days when teachers place protractors on the blackboard and struggle to use a compass on the blackboard with a piece of crumbling chalk. 
technology has done a great deal for our teachers. They have actually worked as, they work as an assistant teacher with us. Whenever I want to recapitulate, see, whenever a student is visualizing things, whenever he, a vision, a visualization impact is much more longer. They retain it for a longer time. And uh, the best part is whatever we are doing it on the interactive board, it gets saved. So whenever, I, op uh, whenever I, I come again in the class, I can just start from where I left. Technology also changes the way teachers teach, offering educators effective ways to reach different types of learners. The thought was that uh, the children are uh, so exposed to technology these days and uh, they, they are aware of so many things that unless we bring in technology into our education also, then we'll be lagging behind. And secondly, the teachers need different tools to make their uh, teaching meaningful and interesting. So technology is one of those tools. And uh, basically, it is a tool available in the classroom, but ultimately the teacher has to see that how the tool is to be used so that it gets integrated into the lesson itself. This is only a small view of the possibilities that technology offers education. Smart boards and 3D labs and other audio-visual equipment are just one way of enhancing the learning experience for students. There are many other hardware and software tools that are readily available. Juana Technologies is Microsoft's partner when it comes to distributing Microsoft's educational technology equipment in the country. Some of the technology that is being developed by them involves making learning more interactive. A teacher posts a question and students can answer the question by logging in from whatever device they want. The software saves the student's replies, later helping the teacher in evaluating the student when it comes to class participation. The tablet has various uses. One, it is user-friendly. It is just on your hand. right? And what we do, na, we ask the teachers to have the tablet connected to your board, right? which have interactive board, smart board, and you can go around the classroom with your tablet, working on it, and whatever you are showing is comes on the uh, smart board. So, you know, you just imagine the amount of, uh, uh, what to say, the interactivity that we bring into the classroom, the amount of involvement that the children have. And then you don't have the problem of children not listening to you and not doing it. Most of the children also have in their houses, even if they don't own them, their parents must be owning, right? So, whatever like uh, the teacher does, if you uh, you know upload it on the Dropbox or on the Google Doc, the children are there, you can own open it, you can get an access to it. Right? So tablets are the future of India now. Right? And uh, technology integration of tablet and smart board is what is the need of the hour. In India, there are many education technology companies that have come up in the last decade, all aiming to introduce hardware and software in the classroom in a manner that enriches and invigorates students. Yeah, if you look at uh you know, schools across the last decade when essentially technology has really surged inside the classrooms. Uh, the last eight years back, nine years back, if you would go to a school and show a concept like smart class, uh, the bigger questions were, you know, should we, shouldn't we? But today, look at today and any school that is there, it's unthinkable now not to have technology inside the classroom. So I think the question from, you know, whether we should have it mm -hmm. or whether we should not is completely erased. The question is really, how soon can be implemented? The question therefore is not whether there should be technology in the classroom, it is how we can leverage the opportunities that technology creates to prepare young learners for a globally connected and information saturated world. Well, that was Kriti with the most student-facing angle of how technology impacts education. To talk about how it impacts systems and processes in schools, I have with me education expert and former CEO of Pearson, Srikant Iyer. He also is a venture partner at Unitas Seed Fund. Srikant, let's talk about the pain points that schools are really facing. Since you've been in this industry for quite a few years, uh, what really do you see them as? Um, there are quite a few pain points which uh, exist today which technology can uh, try and solve. Uh, I'll try and list a few of them. The first and the largest problem I think is, uh, is the lack of good teaching resources. Uh, if technology can help in making a good teacher better and, and a very good teacher uh, great, uh, that, uh, that is a fantastic uh, 
uh, option to have and uh, will benefit both the teacher and the students a b uh, if you look at student assessment today uh, technology can play a big big role over there uh, most of the assessments today are done either uh, using pen and paper uh, or uh, or are done on an ad hoc basis i think technology can play a big role in having sustainable scalable assessment so that we can benchmark our students across the state and then the country as to where they stand basically uh, you know the resources that are available in a schooling system are not very tech savvy even now so it is very very important that we either train them to use the systems because for them it's greek and latin when we start or we should handhold them for a certain period of time before you know the systems are in place so that they get comfortable with them any change requires sustained effort and it's the same thing even with the school do you think there are enough uh, startups or enough companies out there in india right now trying to disrupt the space yeah i think uh, uh, it's education is a big problem to solve especially in a country like india so there are lots of companies who are start and mostly startups who are trying to disrupt this space and that's a fantastic sign because fresh thinking is 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 required in this space uh, new kind of technologies are required in this space uh, and uh, what what better than have a startup uh, to do something like this that was shrikant ayer former ceo of pearson and now with united seed fund he was talking to us about the tech integration in systems and processes for schools that's all we have for you right now more on the other side